What's going on, y'all? The Kings last night held it down at home in a double overtime victory for a go-ahead win over the Orlando Magic and the young guys led by Bantero. Man, did y'all see them dunks by Keegan Murray? Ooh. Keegan Murray out there getting it. Had the nice Statue of Liberty dunk. <clears throat> uh, Malik Monk out there, our dog out there getting it. <laughs> Malik Monk, <laughs> our dog out there getting this 37. I don't know. I feel like he's making his case to be a starter in this team. I don't think he's uh, doing all this for nothing and uh, getting into it with his coach. I think uh, he's 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 making a case for himself. Maybe he's looking for a new contract. The Sacramento Kings defeat the Orlando Magic at home, 138 to 135. The Kings are now 20 and 13. Orlando Magic 19 and 15. What's going on, my folks, and all you Kings fans out there? It's your guy, Jay Woods, a.k.a. Shy the Man, back at you with another episode of the Kings Morning After, Midday Cup of Joe with Jay. Mm. Oh, yeah, that cup of joe's good. Nice and warm on this cold morning. So last night, man, the Kings um, in a game where it was kind of back and forth, back and forth at the end, especially in the fourth quarter, Orlando Magic went on a couple runs at the end of the game in the third quarter and the first, fourth quarter and ended up going, getting it, uh, coming back and getting into the lead. Kings were up at some point, sadly. Uh, uh, up uh, 13, 14, 15 points. And o the Orlando Magic were able to overcome that and took the lead, lead in the fourth quarter. The Sacramento Kings did battle back with the help of Malik Monk and his 37 points. Uh, also, Keegan Murray hit some really quality key shots at the end, had some really nice dunks throughout the game. And even though Mike Brown is seems like he's still looking for that consistent lineup that he wants to stick with, the Kings looked cohesive enough to win the game on a night where De'Aaron Fox was a little off, wasn't really hitting his shots, uh, didn't wasn't having an easy time scoring like he normally does. Our dog pretty much came through in the end, Malik Monk. That's my cup of joe. One creamer, no sugar. Some real quick stats for you guys. The Magic. Paolo Bancaro had a big 43 points last night. He hit a lot of threes, and he was making a lot of really big shots, especially at the end of the game. They said this team wasn't a great three-point shooting team, but I tell you what, Paolo Bancaro looked very fluid with his three-point shot last night. Uh, Jalen Suggs also pitched in a big 24 points. Caleb Houston off the bench with 15. Nobody jumped off the page. It was a full game uh, rebounding uh, with uh, Chumi Okiki actually having the most boards off the bench with seven. Sacramento Kings leading scorer was Malik Monk. In 46 minutes, he played just as much minutes as DeMont Sabonis and Keegan Murray. Keegan Murray with a big 28 points on the night. DeMont Sabonis with a big 22 and 23 rebounds. Keegan Murray had 12 rebounds. In my opinion, Demona Sabonis needs a little bit of help down low. He needs uh he can't be the only one grabbing rebounds. Trey Lyles with three rebounds on the night. Harrison Barnes with three rebounds on the night. Kevin Herter actually had seven rebounds, and he was the biggest help on the board, surprisingly. Darren Fox had 15 on the night. Chris Duarte surprisingly scored zero points. One assist. He only played 10 minutes, though. 
Mike Brown was going with Malik Monk for the evening, and deservedly so. I <clears throat> test, I test, I test. We're going to take an I test. All right. Kings I test for the game. So on a night when the Kings didn't really have uh, De'Aaron Fox hitting all, on all cylinders, uh, we did have our dog Malik Monk. And I feel like he's really trying to make a case for starting um, all these uh, little riffs he's having with the coach and things like that. Uh, lackadaisical play. I think he's trying to make a statement. He wants to start. Keegan Murray had some very nice dunks in the game, some nice athletic moves to the basket. Hopefully he can just stay consistent and be that third scorer that we need. Malik Monk, uh, the good six man that he is, keep doing what he does unless he can break that starting lineup, which I think he kind of deserves at this point. Kings can find another six man to come off the bench, light a fire on the people. So my bottom line of the day, the Kings morning after, bottom line. Today's bottom line is... Is the Kings, um, they they can't take anybody for granted in this league. Everybody's professional. Everybody made it to the NBA for a reason. Um, I don't care about any team's record anymore. Uh, I don't care how young these players are. The Kings can't take anybody lightly, and they can't take, uh, they can't play down to the level of the competition. They need to keep playing a consistent game. Uh, find their offense that they're going to play. Use it. Use it until it gets stopped. Then you can change it up. The Kings seem like a different team sometimes and every night. So the Kings need to stay consistent. Give the, uh, some bonus, some help down low, uh, rebounding. Uh, Malik Monk, keep doing it with what he does off the bench. De'Aaron, uh, hopefully a snap out of the little slump he was in this past game. And uh, Keegan Murray keep doing what he's doing. He he he's stepping up big. He's growing. He's only in his second year. He's driving to the basket and he's hitting important threes. Just keep doing that. Harrison Barnes. I mean, Harrison Barnes is Harrison Barnes at this point. I feel like he's just out there for defense, and he barely has that against like quicker, more agile uh, people and younger players. And. Kevin Herter, I mean, he's still in his slump. He's not even starting anymore. So he just needs to come into the game and play big, play big in the minutes that he gets. Same with Malik Monk. Uh, same with uh, um, Davion Mitchell. Next up. Next up, the Kings have Toronto on Friday at home, 7 p.m. We uh, got this little homestand going on. Because we're going to go on some really long road trips coming up pretty soon. So they need to be holding down uh, home court during these games before they go on the road. So they have Toronto. Uh, we're going to get a preview of Siakam, which a lot of people have tied to the Kings uh, as a possible trade location because of what he brings to the team and what the Kings need. Uh, and that game is Friday at 7, tomorrow at 7. So join me the next day after that, and I'll have a breakdown of that game also. No betting line because the game is on uh, Friday. They usually put the betting lines out same day. So I won't have that till tomorrow. But if you want to do sports bet, no matter where you are, visit the link below. Click the link below. And I got a question for y'all. Do you think Malik Monk is pouting in any kind of way or maybe not maybe pouting is not the word but uh, maybe kind of showing up the coach or playing that lackadaisical play because he feels like he should be the starter or maybe he feels like the Kings are messing with his money you know his next contract is coming up and being a six man I mean you get paid more being a starter hey answer that question down in the comments below let me know what you think and if you can, please help out the channel by liking this video. If you got anything at all from this video, you like the takes I have, please click, click that like to uh, show me that you like this video. And also, if you like talking Kings talk or hearing anything Kings news, go ahead and click that subscribe button as well. You could also help my channel by sharing this video, sharing any of my content, or making a comment as well. Comment below, answer the question I just asked, or make a comment. I'll post your comment on the next video if you make a comment before I come out with the next video. All right, 
I want to say thank you for joining me. If you watched this video this far, I also want to say stay committed to whatever projects and goals you have. Take a little piece out each day, bite out a chunk each day. How do you eat a well? One bite at a time. So wake up every morning with your goals and priorities set, ready to go, stay consistent, and knock a little bit out every day. And you'll finally get to the end. But anyway, that's all I have for today. Like I said, thanks for joining me. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'm out. <laughs>